conspiracy theorist was a soundbite crafted and inserted into American culture by the CIA under the direction of J. Edgar Hoover. In a stunning act of hypocrisy, the CIA directed the media to label anyone who disagreed with the lone gunman scenario of the John F. Kennedy assassination as a conspiracy theorist. In other words, they were to be summarily discredited, disbelieved, and shunned by those under the spell of mainstream consensual reality. This becomes astonishingly ironic considering that most modern credible JFK assassination researchers place that very same Central Intelligence Agency directly in the middle of the planning, execution, and of course, the cover-up of that murder. <laughs> Since then, this belittling, demeaning, and rude label has been used to discredit legitimate researchers that have brought forth information regarding such incidents as the Gulf of Tonkin false flag, CIA's involvement in the hippie movement, the Sandy Hook hoax, not to mention the 9-11 PSYOP or all of the instances of Osama bin Laden's multiple deaths. You would think that by now the conspiracy theorists would be given some measure of credit for dispelling vast amounts of the fabricated bullshit pumped out on a daily basis by the media to serve the super-rich. But no such luck. Recently, however, many psychological studies are finding that those labeled conspiracy theorists are actually more rational, more open to learning, and more able to put their observations in historical context than those hurling the term at them. Many studies describe conspiracy theorists as much less married to their ideas than those who accept the conventional notions of various happenings. It is no great secret that people who hold strong beliefs in an idea are greatly offended when proven wrong because of emotional stress and damage to their self-esteem. <laughs> Mark Twain once accurately observed that it is easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. One study in Pacific Standard Magazine reported that because political beliefs are connected to deeply held values, Information about politics can be very threatening to self-esteem. Therefore, it continues, if you are wrong about such important things, what else might you be wrong about? Scientific American reports that individuals who are insecure about their intellect are less likely to be able to accept information that doesn't fit into their worldview. These people actually prefer intellectually light arguments and sound bites, like those delivered by mainstream media or mainstream controlled alternative media, for the simple reason that they can intellectualize them easier and they are less difficult to talk about especially if they are, as in most cases, simply aping the news starts on TV. In particular, when their viewpoint harmonizes with group and sensual reality and their peer group's notion of what is happening. Using the term conspiracy theorist allows people to disregard alternative viewpoints, regardless of the veracity of the information presented. A little deeper look shows that new contradictory data presented to the conventional mindset threatens to cause a condition known as cognitive dissonance. This is because these conventional folks are unable to expand their viewpoint to incorporate the newly learned data and must struggle endlessly with the either he is right or I am right question, unable to view the larger perspective. Sadly, this is the case for a vast number of the population. But could this mean that conspiracy theorists, despised and looked down upon by polite society, have the intellectual self-confidence, mental stability, and flexibility to deal with ideas that range outside of the media given reality and their currently held beliefs? Quite probably. One study undertaken by the University of Kent in the UK looked at trends in social media and sorted commenters into two categories, conspiracy theorists and conventional thinkers. Or should they be labeled coincidence theorists? Or government incompetence theorists? Or anything outside of mainstream thinking is wrong theorists? This study showed that conventional commenters in social media seemed more reactive to differing views, became more hostile, and fanatically attached to their conventional beliefs. They were also less tolerant of dissenting ideas and demonstrated an inability to discuss ideas and remain civil. In addition, those who believe in the possibility of a conspiracy were quick to admit that they were not completely sure and didn't have all of the answers regarding what is, after all, just a theory. In short, studies suggest that the negative stereotype of the conspiracy theorist as a hostile fanatic wedded to the truth of his or her own fringe theory more accurately describes those with conventional viewpoints than those who tend to dispute them. Stephen Hoffman of the University of Buffalo adds, that conventional thinkers and those who reject possibilities outside of their own paradigm are simply prey to confirmation bias in that they actively seek out only information that conforms to their prior held convictions. To label someone a conspiracy theorist is a mechanism given to the gullible general public as an irrational way of labeling to avoid having to integrate contrary information that might cause mental or emotional tension for the weaker mind. So that explains the anger and hostility toward those who present other ideas that aren't as easily integrated, especially to the closed mind. In this way, the labeling of those with ideas different from convention, whether it includes a conspiracy or not, the conformist public can strategically exclude dissent and new ideas from public scrutiny. As Dr. Dathan Paterno notes, in the end, it seems that the conspiracy of conspiracy theories is really a conspiracy against the conspirators, or perhaps a conspiracy by those who would conspire against conspirators. So if you think outside of the box, just remember, your well-researched points of view are valuable, 
and that your ability to integrate new ideas to form a larger picture of what is, is not a problem, but a great skill that should be revered by all. For more information on how your beliefs are manipulated to benefit those that conspire, pick up a copy of Belief Magic by Dr. Paul Marco. Free your mind, and the rest will follow.